So I'm going to try to take a little break from all that fucking bullshit I've been talking about. I mean, it's not bullshit that I'm talking about, but, you know, people get tired of that type of shit. So just want to talk about the 30 year fucking anniversary of the greatest movie ever fucking released, man. I'm telling you, man. Motherfucking uh, natural born killers, dude. I fucking love that movie, dude. Especially, I, like, I grew up in the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I mean, I was born in the 80s, but, I, you know, I grew up in the 90s and early 2000s and shit. But that was my shit, dude. And, like, uh, Mickey's dad was like, man, we were, we were tripping out so bad on these bitch-ass uh, triple C's and shit, though. I mean, I used to watch them. Every time I trip, like, on acid or even core seating or a- anything stupid like that, mushrooms and shit, I'd watch that shit. So I've watched that movie so many fucking times. But when the dad uh, goes to commit suicide and he looks at his son, he's like, you believe in fate, boy? Man, me and my friends, dude, we just be dying about it. We still talk to each other about that shit. You believe in fate, boy? Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. And Rodney Dangerfield in that fucking role, dude. Like, yeah, dude, like. I love me some Rodney Nagerfield, but he fucking played that shit perfect, bro. And, like, uh, I was actually just thinking about Chitanka, and, and that's the whole, re- yeah, like, I just, I remember that. Anyways, he was like, kill the fucking idiot. I'm like, mother, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta remember, he's trying to be an asshole, you know, that's like, yeah. And, I, yeah, I'm not like that. I'm not gonna complain about it. It's just like, it's reality, you know, like people show that type of shit. Stop being such pussies, you know, I'm, so, I'm tired of this PC culture shit. But yeah, dude, fucking Rodney Dangerfield, he played his role to perfection. Like, man, like when you think of Rodney Dangerfield, what do you think of, man? <laughs> Nobody respects me type shit, you know what I'm saying? You don't think of him as like some fucking chomo ass racist ass piece of shit right like man he fucking nailed the antagonist role to make fucking mallory the woman that she was dude a murdering fucking psychopath dude that movie is so badass but uh a little speech when she when um mickey's talking to uh robert downey jr's character it's so fucking epic, dude. Like, man, that shit just hits me to my soul. Like, just thinking about it, like, yeah, that's your shadow on the wall. Like, man, just makes me think, like, yeah, I knew I was a piece of shit. And that, yeah, just, I don't know. Like, I ain't no killer, but you know what I'm saying? I ain't no killer, but don't push me. No, I'm just kidding. But, uh, no, but seriously, though, like, damn, like, I was just kind of feeling it a little too hard, like, the side just, just throws you away, you know? If you're like people like me and, you know, all those, some of those people that were locked up, dude, we're just thrown away by society. And it's kind of the way I feel about, you know, life right now, even though, like, I'm doing well, I'm being law-abiding, you know? Just get thrown the fuck away and it's fucking... It's supposed to be our... You know what I'm saying? I'm an actual native to this country and fucking... I'm not talking about native born, I'm talking about like actual native motherfucking American. I know people say, oh, you guys look migrated from me. Bitch, we found it first, so that makes us native, bitch. So fuck you. You know? Don't get me emotional. Just kidding. (laughs) No, but man, this is. I'm just getting tired of what's going on in this country, bro. And as as you watch that movie, it just kind of takes you back to the 90s. I mean, yeah, there was a gang of problems back then, man. (sighs) <sighs> man, yeah, you know, we had Bush, uh, senior, he was a douchebag, and then we had Clinton's rapist ass, oh, yeah, Clinton sucked, but at least he did something, no, actually, no, man, fuck Clinton, dude, straight up, after all the things I found out about them, going off topic, sorry, but no, no, back to the fucking movie at end, though, that shit is so sick, dude, if you have not seen that movie, bro, you have to watch it, especially if you were born in the 80s and lived through the 90s, or even if you were born in the 90s, like early, early, like 1990, maybe you should watch that. Eh, I don't know if you would actually, I don't know, dude, it just, it encapsulates the 90s so well, dude. 
Or maybe, maybe you don't even have to be from that era to really enjoy it. Because it's a badass movie, dude. Yeah, it's just a fucking badass movie, man. Some people actually, like, got too obsessed with it and they ended up killing some people or some dumbass shit. But, nah, man, it's... They they got the message wrong, I think, man. To me, the message was just how, how we are as Americans, you know what I'm saying? That we, we glorify and love this type of shit, you know what I'm saying? We glorify fucking the Ted Bunnies, the motherfucking, uh... Uh, what the fuck is his name from Milwaukee? The fucking cannibal ass motherfucker. Jeffrey Dahmer and shit. You know, people, they, they memorialize them motherfuckers. Especially before the victims. Can you name some of the fucking people that Jeffrey Dahmer killed? I can't. And that's what's fucked up, dude. I was about to say shit about school shooters, but... My thought is we need to stop fucking even releasing school shooters' names, to tell you the truth. We just need to forget who they are and maybe release some rumors about them. Like every time someone does some dumbass shit like that, we should uh, put out all their secrets. So like, instead of infamy, they just get nothing but embarrassment, you know? I don't know, that's just my thought, but man, yeah, again, dude, watch that movie. Get back to me after you watch that movie, I'm telling you, it's dope. Deuces.